Action rates here. Raleigh 11 from 14. Granola Canterbury from 11. Intercept. Stevens, the front rower. He'll get there. And isn't he happy? Another one against the run of play. Jason Stevens can't believe it. He scored a try. Rua was desperately trying to get his pass away to Robbie Ross. He was into open space, had the pass gone to him. Kamali takes it quickly. And an intercept is going to be taken by McGuinness. No one in front of him. Matt Geyer coming flying across from the other side of the field. But McGuinness will have too much speed and scores. Against the run of play, Kevin McGuinness runs away to score the try for the Magpies that puts them back into the game at 10-6. Just over halfway as Darren Mapp gets ready to come on for the Raiders. And the news from the Dragons camp, just to put a, a dampener on this terrific start by the Dragons, the news is that Darren Tracy, having set up that second try, has injured an Achilles and won't be back tonight. So Darren Tracy out of the game as Jamie Aitzko takes an intercept. There's no one in front of him. Aitzko will race away and score. Chased by Darren Porter. There's Darren Tracy. He has an Achilles problem. He won't be back tonight. Doesn't look as though he's going to be needed. Jamie Aitzko scores try number four. Great effort in being able to chase through one of the players. Well, you've got to say in the, in the long run, it was a misdirected kick rather than good pressure being put on. Canberra tried to keep the ball alive and I thought it was a, a fairly good idea at that stage. They had to try and shift the ball wide. They had four on one at this stage here. But this, well, you can only say that that is a very misguided pass. Misguided, I suppose, in the, uh, in, in the fact that there were two players from the Dragons that were almost directly in the middle of it. Now it's away from Feeney. Here is Sherwin intercepted. Gerdler have the old legs, got the pace. He's in front by five. Nice They're coming at him. Patton's after oh. him. Elmez is after him. Gerdler makes it. Gerdler pulls out every ounce of stamina. He's done his hammy, mate. I reckon he's done his hamstring 10, 15 out from the line. He certainly pulled up quick. It wasn't just tiredness, but he's home. Don't know who's going to take the shot. Well, it'll be Campbell. 20 metres out, tackle five. Chance for Brisbane. Berrigan, Lockyer, Darren Smith, and it's intercepted by Benji Marshall. Marshall's being chased by Seymour. Marshall's over halfway. Benji Marshall, he's running away from them now. Benji Marshall scores, and the Tigers are on the board. Well, Robbie Tanganoa is out there. Play on is the call. Here's Scott going to first. Goes wide. Here he is. The Octopus, Curtis Rayner, can they catch him? Too charging, he'll have too much speed. Curtis Rayner, back in Townsville, runs a long way for a big Bulldogs try. They've tested him through the kick. They've gone with a long cutout ball, and it has cost the Cowboys big time right here. Merrin for Cleary, quick hands, straight into the hands of David Fusatua. He's already been run down in the first half. What about the second? It's Wagga Blake again. This time, victory goes to David Fusatua. Wanga got him earlier, not second time around. And this time, an intercept does lead to points. David Fusatua lands a big, big blow right on half time. In the second 40. Little double pump from Park. Oh! Intercepts. Ado Carr. Jojo Fafita, no hope this time, but he's not giving up. Another hat trick for Josh Ado Carr. And the celebrations are off the charts today from the Fox. And why wouldn't they be? You can put that down to, to instinct. The first one, a little bit controversial, but was shown that he was on side. This time gets himself up in the line. Let me give a wrap to Braden Burns too. The couple of tackles he's made on David Vafita.